Hi, my name is Chuck Fall. I'm the Director of Service here at Ready. And in this video, we're going to cover some performance upgrades and parts we did on a John Deere 1890. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get all of this. It's uh, got 10 inch row spacing and 50 rows. This has a little bit unique tower setup. So it's set up with six towers, but they're split three to the front, three to the rear. We're, we're doing some discs, a notch 30 point uh, discs on this drill, and those help with really heavy stubble and cutting through that stubble and preventing hair pinning. We're also installing the heavy duty closing wheel springs, which help with closing up the furrow and uh, keeping that closing wheel engaged in the ground and engaged in the furrow. A, a new item that we have um, added to what we do is our, our ready depth pivot slop fix kit. And what that does is actually um, takes away the slot between the gauge wheel pivot and the arm. We're also installing um, our red E spoked uh, gauge wheels, four and a half inch gauge wheels rubber uh, with the three eight slip. And uh, we're also installing scrapers, the uh, lip extenders is what we're calling them, to the back of the gauge wheel. We're also doing the seed boot stabilizers, and that's it's one of our, our legacy products uh, that we've installed for a lot of years. And it does a great job of taking away that slop that you have in the arms. One of the really nice features that we're installing and at, uh, upgrading on this drill is the stainless seed tubes. Uh, where your typical seed tubes that come from the OEM is it, they get slopped out and in a lot of cases um, it's very difficult to get the hose in and out of the end of the tube because when you're trying to check for blockages and that sort of thing and, and you're out in the field it's, you end up having to wreck the hose to get it out and then, then it's, the hose isn't long enough to go back in again. We're putting on all new hose on the drill and uh, so primary and secondary, that's a really nice uh, upgrade as well. And then we move back to the cart. We've got 1910 two tank cart and we did the front tank of stainless. It's a single shoot. So we did the meter housing and our stainless lower assembly, which is a pretty standard replacement. In this case, it, this cart had a hydraulic drive. Uh, so we need uh, the specific um, meter housing to to bolt up the, the factory hydraulic drive back up to that meter housing. Also, uh, one last thing that we're doing to the drill is we're adding the Intelligent Egg blockage monitor, which is on this drill, it didn't have any blockage monitor on it, OEM or um, anything else. So it's gonna be a really uh, big improvement, having a peace of mind that you're putting down what you think that you're putting down and you're not finding out later in the season that you hadn't seeded where you thought you did. With the combination of the items that we've put on, we're going through some new hose, which makes a big difference in the seed delivery as well. And then with the blockage monitors that we're putting on, we're running an all run blockage. So in other words, what that means is we're, we're looking at every row unit. So we, we're able to determine whether or not you have a block in one run, or if you have a block from uh, one of the six runs coming from the cart, or if you have bridging problems in the tank. The combination of all the items that we're adding to this is, is what adds to the performance um, of that drill and, and for it to work for years down the road. And in reality, we're, we're taking a drill that's, you know, it's probably 10 years old um, and we're taking it to where it's gonna perform just as well as a new drill for a fraction, a fraction of the cost, even if they traded it in, got a newer one, we're way below what, what it would cost to do that. It's definitely worth the investment uh, and, and we're adding value to our customers' equipment to where they can feel like, you know, they've, they've got a lot more years to use it and uh, they don't have to sit there and think about every year if I'm gonna trade this thing off and get something different and that kind of thing. But honestly, the new products or the new drills aren't that much different than what's already out there. So why not rebuild? Why not invest in what you have? and get a really good return on your investment. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up on all the fresh content posted weekly, which includes helpful tips and tricks, new products, and various adventures. Also, make sure you check out Ready's website to shop our performance air seeder solutions.